The Duchesses of Cambridge and Sussex are no strangers to high-end labels, but there does appear to be one key difference in their approaches to famous designers, and that's how branded their looks are. While Kate loves to mix it up with different designers, Meghan, 37, is more likely to wear one designer from head to toe, including accessories. For instance, on Commonwealth Day earlier this week, the Duchess attended the Westminster Abbey service wearing bespoke all-white ensemble by Victoria Beckham, complete with a chain print dress, coat, bag and shoes, believed to have cost £9,000. And Meghan's love of championing a particular designer with a head-to-toe look, it could be all down to her best friend and brand consultant stylist Jessica Moroni. Celebrity stylist Lucas Armitage told Mail Online, a stylist such as Jessica will be sent lavish lookbooks from brands outlining their key looks. This may be why we see her optioning exact catwalk looks rather than mixing and matching brands like Kate. The reason Kate's looks feature pieces from different designers could be due to the fact that she just shops for herself, rather than have stylists busying at finding her what to wear. A stylist who works with designers will often be at events and dinners with them and will be more likely to pay homage to their vision by taking a whole runway look and not altering it. And while the Duchess of Sussex has made her love of designers well known, it shouldn't ruffle the feathers of her grandmother-in-law. Etiquette expert William Hansen told Mail Online that, There is no etiquette or dictum as to what a royal person can or cannot wear in terms of designers. He pointed out that Queen Elizabeth was also a fan of designer coordination, Her Majesty often wears a dress by one designer and a hat by another, although sometimes the entire outfit is by the same designer. Fashion, as we all know, is so subjective and certain royalty prefer to wear the same fashion label from head to toe, whereas others like to mix and match. What is more important is to be modestly and appropriately dressed for the right occasion. During a recent trip to Morocco, Meghan showed her love for Valentino and Dior with two outfits featuring only these brands. Pregnant Meghan wore a bold red cape from the high-end designer and carried a statement crossbody bag, which had a pale pink front and gold V on the front. On the second day of the three-day trip, she shone in Dior at a reception hosted by British Ambassador Thomas Riley and his wife Leah at their official residence in the capital of Rabat. Meghan wore a sweeping caftan-inspired custom Dior gown, which she teamed with metallic heels, a favorite pair of 6,950 pounds diamond earrings and a satin clutch, also by Dior. In July she also wore a bespoke Dior navy midi dress with a matching clutch bag at the centenary of the Royal Air Force. She paired the outfit with heels also from Dior only branching out to another designer for her statement swirl fascinator which was made by Stephen Jones. A possible reason behind Meghan's solo designer choices could be her best friend and unofficial stylist Jessica Mulroney. In an interview with Harper's Bazaar the Canadian fashion star discussed the power of getting a brand's item on someone famous. She said, Sometimes all you need is that one-time break and it'll change your life. If you get your item on a celebrity, that's almost like the top of the top, a new way of creating business. The mother of three, whose children were page boys and bridesmaids at the royal wedding last summer, even revealed that when the Duchess of Sussex wore a trench dress from Caligari based House of Nani in July 2018, she saved them from shutting down.